Hello, this is Anirudh Mohan from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. Today's topic is going to be about creating CMX system, CMX ORS, and Active Wasp Schema. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, CMX system, CMX ORS, and Active Wasp Schema. So the first thing is we need to go to Command Prompt. As you can see, you we need to enter this directory. Currently, I'm using MDM 10.2. To hotfix 3 and you need to enter the database uh, slash bin directory once you enter the bin directory you can see that uh, these are the existing files that are present and these are the three databases uh, that is compatible with MDM in this case I'm going to show you in through Oracle so to create CMX system and CMX ORS it should be done separately and it's a two-step process and both are done by running this script so let's do that so script and since we're creating cmx system first let's say create underscore system and then it's going to ask you a bunch of parameters and in my case i'm using oracle service I already have a CMX system present, so I'm just going to have a different name for it. Underscore test and provide your host name for its local host, port number the same, and for my service name. DNS num name is the same, and now it's asking you to provide the password for your CMX system. So It is English. This is your main uh, SysDBA for your database. So, so before you run this command, you should already make sure that you have CMX underscore index, CMX underscore data, and temp table spaces, which is there in your database, present in your database. So now we're waiting for the process. It's going to take a minute or so. Yep. So now uh, you have, as you can see through this line, empty user CMX system test has been created. So you have successfully created a CMX system. And so the next process is to run the script again, but this time you have to, you have to use import instead of create and have all the metadata filled. So it is import. It's going to ask you the same bunch of parameters again. Okay, so so we are going. It's good. So right now it's filling all the metadata in this table, and you can see it took about forty-eight seconds. So this it shows that you have successfully created a CMX system, and it has all the metadata inside. So now let's try to create a CMX ORS. So we're using the same same script again, but this time. We're using create underscore ORS and it's going to ask you the same it's the exact same step process so you need to so in this case again it's going to be Oracle localhost my service name continue So it's asking you right now to create your ORS. Since I already have a CMX ORS present, I'll give it another name. So I will give it CMX 
ORS underscore test. CMX English. It's going to be sys and then provide password. Same table spaces as you needed even for this. And now it's we're waiting for the process to happen. Okay, it is happening. As you can see, it did say that the build was uh, successful, it has it, and it took three minutes and 32 seconds. And the key part is, you can see over here, an empty user cmx ors underscore test has been created. So now, since it's created, let's import the metadata inside. So run the same script again. Import. ORS dot informatic service name TNS name same thing import ORS yes so cmx underscore ors underscore test cmx dash dash yes okay so now it is importing all the metadata inside This might take a bit longer. Okay, so it, it took about two minutes and 19 seconds for this entire process. Since we have now successfully created CMX system and CMX ORS, now let's move on to create active was schema. The active was schema also uses the exact same script. Uh, the only change is uh, the command. We specify it as create BPM, which is create pluggable database. So let's do that. So we say create underscore BPM. And follow the instructions accordingly. Service localhost port number will be same. Provide your service name information. Now create so enter DBA username. Same thing. Password. So enter your active boss name. I will say a boss underscore test. Table space. Okay, so now we have successfully completed the active, creating the active was schema. And if you need any more references, please uh, view the respective MDM installation guide and it'll provide you the same steps as well. We would love to hear from you and you can please share your comments and feedback uh, un under these two websites. Thank you so much.